Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital. Today I'm going to show you how to update values in your Simbly for Mobile interface. I have with me the Simbly Development Kit number RFD 77803. Let's get started. For this example, you'll need the USB shield and 7-pin GPIO breakout board. Open a new sketch in the Arduino IDE and save it as simbly underscore update value. Next, go to Tools, Port, and make sure the correct COM port is selected for your Simbly device. First, we need to include our Simbly for Mobile header file. Next, we're going to define Simbly underscore blue. We'll use this color later on when we draw our user interface. Now we'll define a variable to hold our counter value. We'll print this to our user interface. Next, we need to define some user interface variables. These will hold our Simbly for Mobile object IDs. Let's move on to our setup function. First, we'll set our device name as objects. We'll also change our advertisement data to read update. In order to use Simbly for Mobile, we must call the Simbly for Mobile dot begin function. That's all for our setup function. Now we need to define our UI function. We use the UI function to set up user interface components on our mobile device. First, we must use the Simbly for Mobile dot begin screen function. We'll pass one argument to this function, the color gray. Next, we'll draw the text Simbly to our screen. We'll pass five arguments to the simbly for mobile dot draw text function. The first will be our X location, 100. The second will be our Y location, 40. Third argument is the actual text we want to write to the screen. We'll draw simbly. Our fourth and fifth argument set the color and size of our text. Let's use simbly underscore blue that we defined earlier and set the size to 30. Now that we've drawn our text, we can use the simbly for mobile dot end screen function. Let's move on to our loop function. For now, we'll only add one line, simbly for mobile dot process. Go ahead and save, compile, and upload your sketch. Open the simbly app on your mobile device and select the listing named objects. You'll see you have a gray background with simbly printed in blue text. Now we'll add a few values to our screen. Under the simbly for mobile dot draw text function, let's draw some more text to our screen. This time our x value will be 70, our y value will be 120, the text will be the counter colon. We'll make it black and size 20. We're going to draw the current counter value to our screen, but since we'll update it later, we'll save the object ID in the UI underscore counter variable. Our x value is 210, our y value 120, we're going to print the counter variable in black at size 20. Next we're going to print a food group to the screen. This will be very similar to printing the counter to the screen, but use UI underscore food instead. You'll notice I've set the text to apples instead of a variable name. We'll update this later using the simbly for mobile dot update text function. Save, compile, and upload your sketch, and let's return to the simbly app. This time, when you select your assembly, you should see the counter, one, and food groups, apples, listed on the screen. Now we'll increment our counter. Let's add one every second until it hits 10, then we'll return it to one. We'll need to track the last time we incremented our counter. Define a new global variable named last time. Make sure to use the uint32 underscore t data type. In the void setup function, underneath the simbly for mobile.begin function call, type last time equals millis. The millis function returns the current runtime in milliseconds. We need to define a new function under the void UI function. We'll call it simbly for mobile underscore on connect. This function will run each time your mobile device connects to your simbly. For our purposes, we'll use this function to reset the counter and the last time variable. Add counter equals one and last time equals millis. Now we need to update our counter. In the void loop function type if millis minus last time is greater than or equal to 1000, counter plus plus. This will increment our counter by one if 1000 milliseconds or a second has elapsed since the last time we changed it. Remember, we only want our counter to reach 10 before returning to one. 
So let's check our current counter value. If counter is greater than 10, counter equals 1. Finally, we need to set our last time variable or else this won't work. So type last time equals millis. Now we'll update our UI with a new counter value. Add a new if statement with the simply for mobile dot updatable condition. Inside that if statement, type simply for mobile dot update value. We'll pass two arguments to this function. The first will be UI underscore counter, which holds the object ID of our counter text. The second will be the value that we want to update it with, which is of course our counter variable. Save, compile, and upload, and return to your Simbly app. Selecting your Simbly should show the counter variable updating each second. Next, we'll change our food group. After the simbly for mobile .update value function, we'll add a new if statement. We'll first check if our counter is less than 4. If this is true, we'll update the food group's text to read apples. Add an else if condition, stating, if our counter is greater than or equal to 4, and it's less than 7, we'll update the food group's text to read bananas. If neither of these other conditions are met, we'll update the food group's text to read carrots. Save, compile, and upload your sketch and return to the Assembly app. This time when you select your Assembly, you'll notice that not only the counter changes, but so does the food group. Similar to the way we updated our food group text, we'll update the color of our counter value. If our counter is less than 4, we'll update the color to red. If it's greater than or equal to 4, but less than 7, we'll update the color to yellow. If neither of these conditions are met, we'll update our color to green. Save, compile, and upload your sketch, and return to the Assembly app. This time, when you select your Assembly, you should see the counter value change in color. Now we'll add a rectangle to the screen. To find a new variable named UI underscore box in the Assembly for Mobile object IDs. Scroll down to the UI function and add UI underscore box equals simply for mobile dot draw rect right above the end screen function call. We'll pass 150 as our X value and 250 as our Y value. We'll make our rectangle 30 by 30 and blue in color. Updating our rectangle is similar to the way we updated our text or our color. First, let's update our X value. If our counter is less than four, then we'll update our x value to 75. Make sure to use the ui underscore box variable for our object ID. If our counter is greater than or equal to four, but less than seven, we'll update it to 150. And finally, if neither of these conditions are met, let's update our x value to 200. Save, compile, and upload your sketch, and return to the Assembly app. Upon selecting your Assembly, you should see a small blue box update its x value on your screen. Let's return to our sketch. The same way we updated our X value, we can update our Y value. If our counter is less than four, we'll update our Y value to 250. If it's greater than or equal to four, but less than seven, let's make it 325. Finally, if neither condition is met, we'll set it to 400. Save, compile, and upload your sketch and return to the Assembly app. This time, when you select your Assembly, you should see that box move along a diagonal pattern. You'll notice we had to use two function calls to set the x and y value. Instead of using update x and update y, instead we can use update origin, which sets both the x and y value. Let's try it out. Save, compile, and upload your sketch and return to the Assembly app. You'll notice that when I select my Assembly, the same series of actions happen. Similar to updating the X and Y value, we can also update our width or our height. Let's give it a shot. When I select my assembly, you'll notice the size of the box change once we hit four. You can also update your width and height at the same time by using the update size function. Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital. We love hearing from everyone out there working with Simbly. If you have an idea or an awesome project you're working on using Simbly, let us know. We may be able to use it in a feature video on our website. 
Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you next time. You can find more documentation at simply.com.